how do we create a click event? So this is really useful, particularly if you're sending people off site. So if you're sending people to your Facebook page or a LinkedIn account or whatever, it would be really useful to know that people have clicked that button or clicked that link. And the reason for that is because of course you can't add your Google Analytics to LinkedIn. So you can only see that they've clicked that link. So that's exactly what I've got up here. Click this link, will bring you to my LinkedIn profile. Now, I do want to tell you about a tool that I'm gonna use first. It's this one here, it's called Tag Assistant Companion. Now that's a Chrome plugin and it connects up to your Google Analytics account or actually you can use it on any analytics account on the web and it will tell you if things are firing. So let's see what happens when I click that link using Tag Assist. I'm clicking on the Chrome extension, Tag Assist. You can see the URL it's going to. So I'm gonna connect it and click continue. Now it's gone straight into my tag manager. That's why there's extra stuff here. I just want to go into my Google Analytics and there we can see the page view. So what happens when I go down here and I click that link? We go to LinkedIn and here we can see there is a, an event, a click event. Now that's just a standard event that Google collects automatically. So we want to say when this particular link is clicked, we want to trigger a custom event. So I'm gonna click on click. And if I scroll down, I can see all the information. Now this, I, when I was first learning this, I was like, this is so much stuff, I don't know what it means. But really what we're looking for is your event parameters at the bottom, because this is what we can hook into. And here we can see there is an event parameter called link URL. So this is the information I'm gonna need. I want to set up a click event, and then I am going to set up that click event that is going to contain some of this. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if I made sense there, but well, you'll see when I do it. So I'm going in, let's just look at where I went to again. I went into admin, and I went into events, and I click create event, click on create, test, click LinkedIn. So that's enough information to tell me what that's going to be when it appears in my analytics. So the event name, remember what we're looking for here is the click, the event name is click. And if I click into the, this, actually scroll right down to the bottom, event name, click, we can see that there. So we're just matching that up. I'm going back in here and I'm saying the event name equals click, and then because we don't want to measure all clicks, I need to add a second second section, a parameter here. This one isn't gonna come up automatically when I start typing. So I'm gonna type in link underscore URL, and instead of equals, I'm going to go with contains. We just want this bit here. Right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paste that in. So now we can see very similar event name equals click link URL contains. So I haven't got the www or the HTTP or anything like that. I've just taken a piece of the link. And then if I click create, that's done. So we need to check this works now. And because we're, we're, we've done something, we need to refresh. I need to start that tag assist off again. So I'm gonna go back to the page that it happens on, click on the tag assistant. Yep, it's got the right URL in there. Click connect. Right, so it's opened a new version of the page. You don't want to go back to the original one, but a version of the page here that has this tag assistant window on it. I'm gonna go over to here and click continue. And we're in our Google Analytics and we can see the page view. So now let's scroll down. And this is always nervous in case I mess something up. <laughs> click this link. And if we go back, there we can see our custom event has been triggered. We've got click, which is the standard event, and we've got test click LinkedIn. So now I can start to see in my Google Analytics how many people are clicking that LinkedIn link. 